r slash ask reddit deleted by user how statistics work and how easily they can be manipulated into showing what someone wants it to show bill burr bit on statistics was hilarious want to go scuba diving with me know why 90 percent of shark attacks happen in shallow water yeah because that's where the people are the same thing when people say you are most likely to die within x miles from home yep because you are often home or close to it just because i don't want to spend all my free time with you doesn't mean i don't like you i just enjoy being by myself sometimes as an extension of this just because i'm not currently doing something doesn't mean i want to do something with you tax brackets all your pay is not in one bracket this shit drives me up the ducking wall yes you do want to get paid more my tinfoil hat theory is that big huge companies spread that rumor so their workers won't try to fight for raises. Edit. Yes we know about the benefits cliff. That's a different thing altogether and I personally wish we could revise our social programs so that doesn't happen. My tinfoil hat theory is that people are ducking stupid. Incognito mode. All it does is it deletes your search history and cookies when you close out. It doesn't hide your IP or delete downloads. People at my school depend on incognito thinking it gives them privacy from the IT department. Boy are they wrong. I was one of them until I realized, was more careful, then watched the demise of those who didn't realize and got yelled at by IT. What scientific theory means and how it relates to actual practical uses of science. Laws describe and theories explain. Great encapsulation would add that theory does not mean wildest guess. It means pretty damn good explanation of how something works, given available evidence and our present understanding. Semicolons and commas. Semicolons are great. They combine separate but related clauses. Commas are useful in providing clarity, improving sentence flow, and creating lists. Also, semicolons can be used to separate items in a list of lists. For example, there were four sheep. One was black, fluffy, and loud. One was small and mangy. One was well-mannered, quiet, and white as snow. And the last one was named Phil. Edit. Thanks for my first silver. Glad to spread some semicolon appreciation. Edit 2. Typo edit 3. Wow. Super didn't expect this insignificant. Little semicolons comments to get this much attention. Thank you all for sharing my punctuation appreciation. May the grammar gods bless you all with never dangling participles and properly punctuated paragraphs. That taking a lighter to a sprinkler in a building will not actually cause all of the sprinklers to go off as they show in the movies. Only that one sprinkler will go off. Also, it will not be clean water. It will be black. Why is it black? It's not like those pipes have circulating water, it's just water that's been sitting there since it was installed. So it's the water along with whatever has corroded over the years. Low fat doesn't equal healthy. Low calorie doesn't equal healthy. Vegan friendly or gluten free doesn't necessarily equal healthy either. Disagreeing with someone isn't the same as disliking them. I disagree. Heck you. Whoa whoa whoa. Language that not everyone wants to talk all the time. If someone is sitting alone they aren't always sad. They may be perfectly happy just people watching. I constantly have people asking me are you okay? You look so sad and you're sitting alone over here like I'm fine. I just have resting sad face and I like being alone on my own. What lactose intolerance is? It's not an allergy. You just can't digest it. Depending on the individual. People might have a little lactose with no effect. A small amount with a bit of gas bloating. Some lactose with stomach cramps or loads of lactose and get explosive diarrhea. Also different dairy foods have different amounts of lactose. Think of lactose like alcohol. A pint of beer would have little effect on you but a pint of vodka would ruin you. This is one of the reasons why lactose intolerant people sound cautious sometimes and don't care other times. Sometimes it's counterintuitive. Some examples. Mozzarella. Only trace amounts of lactose. Milk chocolate. A bit of lactose white chocolate. Lots of lactose cream single cream. Crap tons of lactose also. Sometimes you just really want something and it's worth being on the crapper all next morning edit. A few people saying heavy cream doesn't have lactose. Apparently heavy cream yes. 
very little but other types still do. I've always experienced worse effects with cream but I guess I've only had the non-heavy whatever that means. A US term perhaps. Edit 2. I've done a bit of research into cream and supposedly it's not super super high in lactose but it does seem to affect me worse than most other dairy products. I can't give a good reason why but thought I would just add clarification that my scale may not be universally correct. That said, the principle of some dairy foods being worse than others is still correct, even if my specific examples aren't completely accurate. A funny one. I have a mild dairy allergy. People, when I mention it, always think I mean lactose intolerance. I used to mention it as a fun fact but honestly trying to explain that to people just hot frustrating. I don't get bloating and cramps. Due to plugged up nose and throat. Also cheese is usually worth it anyways. Like I said, mild. Yep, my boyfriend can have cheese. But milk is a no no. Unless he wants to go go. Oh. Okay. Sorry. That cancer is an umbrella term and not a single illness with a single cause. If this was understood then the whole big pharma has the cure for cancer conspiracy would hold much less sway over people. I doubt it, because the conspiracy is stupid to begin with. Cancer researchers have friends and family members who have died of cancer. They aren't hiding any magical cure. Plus, can you imagine what a company would do if they cured cancer? Every single drug they made from then on, even if it had nothing to do with cancer, would be marketed as by the company that cured cancer. Ask your doctor if Flixmorph is right for you. Flixmorph should not be used by people who are or might become pregnant. Side effects include weight gain and vertigo. Flixnorth. By the company that cured mother duck eye cancer. Obviously they only let the people they don't love die of cancer. Do you even conspiracy theory, bro? Loose versus loose. Whoa. I gotta take a deep breathe. It's hard to breath. Heavy breathing intensifies. That it's would've could've should've. Not would've should've could've. And it's cousin. Case in point. Not case in point. Just in case you can't remember in the future. And now a case of beer is in mine. You are correct for all intensive purpose. Semicolon. What OCD actually is. Edit. Thanks for the two silvers. Damn. I didn't expect this to blow up this much. I have horrible OCD and was just hoping a few would see it and make an effort to be more understanding. All of your stories have really made me feel less alone. In regards to my OCD. Take care. Right. Being highly organized is not OCD. Liking things to have a certain place because you can actually find them later is not OCD. Having a set routine for a particular task does not equal OCD. Coworkers kept saying a client was OCD because he kept opening new accounts for various things. Not OCD. Pitta. But not a mental health issue. Bra sizes. Myth. A equals small. B equals medium. C equals large. D equals large. Truth. A bra size is actually a ratio of band to cup size. This means that a 32C is 5 cup sizes smaller than a 42C. It means many women are wearing bands that are too big for their ribcages with cups that are too small. And it means that most retailers only carry 4 sizes of bands. 32, 38, and 4 or 5 sizes of cups when in reality there are more like 150 sizes of women. R slash A bra that fits. This is one of my biggest soap boxes and when I say this to people, my friends, not total strangers lol. I can tell that they don't really believe me because we have this idea that DD or DDD is massive when it's really just average depending on the band size. When I finally got a bra that fit me properly it was a whole new world. This. I wear DDD but people say my boobs look small. So there's that. That an argument and a discussion of opposing views are two different things. No it isn't. Yes it is. Mistaking politeness for flirting for sure. Under that one, file, mistaking friendly bosses co-workers for being your friends. How to actually think critically about a study says, insert claim here. 1. Start with looking up the actual study and seeing what it actually says. Usually it's not, insert claim here. 
Study says that coffee prevents cancer. Actual study, mouse tumor cells in petri dishes exposed to high dose of caffeine grew 14% slower than mouse tumor cells in petri dishes not exposed to caffeine. Mouse tumor cells in petri dishes exposed to medium doses of caffeine grew 4% quicker. All numbers have a 5% margin of error. What freedom of speech actually entails? Yup, freedom of speech does not mean free of consequences from things you say. The old saying fable doesn't say that there's a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. It says you're as likely to find a leprechaun's pot of gold as you are to find the end of the rainbow. It's a comparison of two separate things to show impossibility of a task. Not saying that one literally exists alongside the other. Also, Noah only took two of every unclean animal, and seven of every clean animal. Out of curiosity, what makes an animal clean or unclean? Edit. Thank you for all the informative answers. Always great to learn new things. That's something to do with Old Testament kosherite law. The flu is not a gastrointestinal illness. Influenza is a respiratory virus. How about the flu and influenza are the same thing? I've got a friend who insists that they got really sick and it wasn't just the flu it was influenza as if that's somehow scarier and more serious. Like, that's literally what the flu is short for. Alternate universe where the Enzo is the widely accepted term. You won't make less money by getting a raise. That's not how taxes work. Even more misunderstood is how income tax deductions work. Ugh. During orientation at my old job the ducking HR lady came in and told us how we need to be careful with raises because it may put us in a different tax bracket. How dangerous driving while really tired can be. Being behind the wheel of a 3.000 pounds machine when you have trouble keeping your eyes open is extremely dangerous. Even if you're completely sober. I made the mistake of driving on no sleep and ended up nodding off and waking up in a small ditch. Thankfully the small highway I was on was pretty empty, so I didn't end up hurting anybody. But it really opened my eyes just how dangerous it is. Yep. Friend of mine killed her partner and little brother driving tired. Got a suspended prison sentence for a few years. Lost her hair on one side due to the stress and depression of it all. And eventually killed herself. Oversimplified because I hate thinking about how tortured she must have been. But all that could have been avoided by just taking a break driving tomorrow. Three of my relatives were killed by a semi driver who fell asleep at the wheel while hauling explosives. Open bracket. Happened decades ago. It's highly regulated now. The only person who survived that crash saw it coming and bailed out. If jumping out of a car speeding down the highway is the only way to survive, you bet that shit is dangerous. Someone can have depression but still look happy or laugh. Many undiagnosed with a mental illness don't get treatment precisely because they find excellent ways of covering it up. Source. Been there. Done that. Introversion. Introverts are not misanthropes or shut-ins that hate being around people and hate talking. At least that's not how they are defined. Introversion means that you recharge by being alone. Conversely, extroverts recharge by being around people. There are introverts who are social butterflies. But they're introverts because their social battery runs out after so long and they need to relax by being alone. Point is, introversion equals equals antisocial or asocial. I bring it up because I'm a bit of a social butterfly but at heart I'm an introvert and most people don't understand that. Also, for many introverts, it is not being around people necessarily that is draining. It is interaction. For instance, an introvert may be an excellent public speaker, or theatrical performer, or attend a crowded event, with no effect on their social battery but when drawn into conversation the battery begins to drain. I'm generally a quiet introvert, so people assume I'm shy or have stage fright. Couldn't be further from the truth. The media intentionally appeals to your emotional bias to manipulate your opinions. So do politicians, religious leaders, sales personnel, etc. That your yearly raise is not actually a raise, instead an adjustment for inflation. Jokes on you, I didn't even get that this year. Cries in retail. Your image of the devil, heaven and hell is not from the bible, it's from the divine comedy. Everyone has these images because of fanfiction. Essentially, in addition, 
The demon goat image of Satan is actually a pagan god Baphomet, not Lucifer. Though the Catholic Church accuse this image as of being Satan, which is why they're closely associated. Edit. The Catholic Church was not the one who correlated Baphomet and Satan as being the same, but an occultist in the 19th 20th century. This is a pretty good one. But I would add that it's also influenced by the association the Hebrews had between effigies of Baal, anthropomorphic bull, and Satan, and the general low regard for goats. Ex Jesus parable of the sheep and the goats. The circles of hell concept is also a product of Dante's. The customer is always right applies to products. Like, if pink monsters sell out faster than the rest, clearly it's more popular and should be stocked more frequently since the customer is always right. Edit. So, I got a lot of people saying this is a common reddit myth. More importantly, I want to draw attention to the Amazon rainforest. It is on fire, and the environmental ignorance of the 45 administration is doing nothing to help this. Vote blue this election cycle. Vote Democrat. POC and women lives depend on it. Came to say this. If a customer is screeching that the customer is always right, they're never ducking right. You can't pause an online game. Reddit gets it. Moms don't. Mom here. I've learned. How much longer until you can quit pause hide? Bread is not good for ducks. 180 degrees versus 360 degrees and it annoys me every time. Silence doesn't necessarily mean agreement. Kindness doesn't necessarily mean that she he interested in you romantically. The meaning of the word theory. That's because theory legitimately has multiple definitions depending on context, and people confuse the general use definition, synonymous with conjecture, as applying to the much more rigid definition used in science and mathematics. Though less prevalent, it's equally annoying when others pretend that the latter definition is the only one that exists. Love. Love is about more than feelings, especially in a marriage. It's a commitment that one will continue to intentionally respect protect, and value the other. Despite the current status of one's feelings, my wife and I are looking at our 10th anniversary in the not too distant future. We married young but spent a lot of time learning about love and marriage from people much smarter than us. My feelings towards my wife are nothing like what they used to be. They're different, stronger, much closer. One of my favorite quotes, love is a temporary madness. It erupts like an earthquake and then subsides. And when it subsides you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots have become so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part. Because this is what love is. Love is not breathlessness. It is not excitement. It is not the promulgation of promises of eternal passion. That is just being in love which any of us can convince ourselves we are. Love itself is what is left over when being in love has burned away. And this is both an art and a fortunate accident. Your mother and I had it. We had roots that grew towards each other underground. And when all the pretty blossom had fallen from our branches we found that we were one tree and not two. From Captain Corelli's mandolin. The difference between being acquitted and being innocent. Example. I think OJ Simpson killed his wife but I think the jury returned the correct verdict. Why? The state of California failed to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that he killed her. The jury isn't asked did he do it, they're asked did the state prove he did it? The state did not prove it. That you can handpick create statistics to prove any point. In addition most statistics make a correlation between only a couple variables when there are often hundreds in play which causes people to draw the wrong conclusions. Anything medical. As a healthcare professional, it can be interesting to hear a layman's explanation of an injury or a disease process. Shit gets wild. When the dictionary people include a new word, it's not because they think it's cool. It's because people use it in real life and some people need, you guessed it, a dictionary to understand what it means. So get mad at yourself when bling or whatever becomes a word because you people as a society started using it not the dictionary employees as individuals. The difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. I always feel super offended when someone find out I have type 1 diabetes and assume I was am fat. Or the assumption that only heavier people develop type 2. My dad, who has always maintained a healthy BMI, is a type 2 diabetic. He's developed shortly after he finished chemo radiation. 
correlation versus causation. Grammar and how percentages work. If something increases by 10%, and then another 10% is added, that does not mean it's the original number plus 20%. It's the original number plus 10%. Plus 10% off the original number increase by 10%. The difference between to 2 and 2. Medical radiation versus nuclear meltdown radiation. Other political groups. A lot of people I know radicalize the other political parties and see anyone who believes one thing as everything with no reason. For instance gun owners. A lot of people see them as a bunch of rednecks completely against any form of gun control when that just isn't the case for most. Or people who are pro-choice. I know some pro-lifers who think that anyone pro-choice is for killing babies as a means of birth control. Like everyone just chill out and realize most people aren't radical. Just because a dog growls doesn't mean it's aggressive. It normally means they disapprove of what's happening. Or they are scared. I, E, and E, G, are not interchangeable. I, E, means in other words whereas E, G, means for example. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.